Are you looking to buy a house in the next 30 to 60 days? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you three things to avoid doing before buying a house. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna tell you one thing you can do to actually boost your score by 100 points or even more, depending on how you do this. Hey everyone, my name is Isaac and I'm with eXp Realty. We've been selling real estate in the Houston area for over seven years. If at any point in this video you have any questions about the real estate market, if you're looking to buy or sell, uh, feel free to reach out to me using the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, uh, check out the website. Uh, we have all of the latest properties that come on the market, show up. I know that this is a very odd time just because the interest rates are high and so people are scared of buying and you know a lot of these sellers they just want to sell their house and so uh, you can score a really good deal you know something comes on the market you pounce on it you're one of the first ones to put in an offer uh, and of course if you do see a, a property that you do like you can reach out to us and we can help facilitate that for you so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right so the first thing that you're going to want to avoid doing is making big purchases now that means either paying in cash or putting it on a credit card. If you pay with cash, now your uh, liquid reserves uh, will show up as being a lot lower than they were whenever you go to get that pre-approval letter. And many times there's a very fine line with the amount that you need to have there in terms of the credit uh, your utilization will actually go up and that can actually hurt your credit score. And of course, before you go in to buy a house, you want to have that credit score be as high as possible. So avoid making those large purchases, avoid financing them, avoid buying them with cash. I mean, if somebody has money to let you borrow so you can make that purchase, go ahead and do that. But with your own reserves, you're going to want to keep that to yourself. You're going to want to keep that protected as much as possible. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do is kind of connected to the first, uh, but that's just really using your credit card card you know racking up and maxing out your cards uh, that's going to destroy your credit score your credit score is actually a component of many different things but one of the big ones is credit utilization so that's a percentage that measures how much credit you have available to you and how much you're using and the more you use the higher that percentage goes you really want to keep that percentage below 30 as soon as you go above that 30 percent you're going to start seeing your points drop more and more and then of course if you go up to 100 percent you you can only imagine how bad that can get so avoid using your credit cards as much as possible and this actually leads me to my third point if you're using your credit cards and you just found out that utilization or the utilization rate plays a major part of your credit score and you want to bring them up a lot of you will want to actually pay that down completely and there's nothing wrong with that in fact it might actually help you a lot it might actually get you a couple extra points if you do that but what you don't want to do and it's what i've seen many people do do not close down your credit cards right now your credit card not only is that utilization rate being used for your credit scores but your credit history the length of time that you've had that credit card for actually plays a very important part in your credit score. Not only that, but the more credit cards you have, and of course they're paid down real low, that's gonna show that you have not just a good credit card history, but also you are very responsible with your credit. So do not close them down because the moment you do, that actually plays against you. You might think that closing them down just because you don't wanna use them anymore is gonna help increase your score, do not close down your credit cards because they will destroy your credit score just the same way as racking them up to 100%. So now that you've stayed till the end, uh, I do wanna encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I do home tours and uh, of course give you tips on what to do before buying a house. If you're in the Houston area, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, but go ahead and give this channel a like and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell because as soon as I bring anything out you will be notified and it also helps me out it helps me grow my channel so that YouTube knows that what I put out there you are enjoying it it's a value to you and so with this here's what you can do to increase your credit score now you may have heard of this uh, there's a term called authorized user whenever you get a credit card that company allows you to put somebody on your account so that they can use your card in case you want them to use your card. But if you know somebody, like let's say that your credit score is it's not the best, I mean, maybe below 620 and you could use a boost. If you know somebody that has stellar history, for example, they've had this card for years, I mean, over a decade, and they pay down their balances on a regular basis, they do not have any late payments on this particular credit card, you can ask them, 
to put you on there as an authorized user. Now what this is gonna do is it will allow you to inherit the entire history of that card and now it's part of your credit history. So like I said, it's important that you make sure that they have absolutely no late payments and that they don't go over that 30% mark. And if they had it for a few years, even better because that's gonna be able to boost your score up to 100, maybe even more depending on the length of that card, the credit limit that they have. These are things that will help you out. If you know somebody, you know, you can tell them, hey, I don't wanna really use your credit card. I really just wanna go ahead and you know, be an authorized user so I can take advantage of this, uh, this program. Well then, do that. Tell them they can throw away the car, shred it whenever they get it in the mail. But at least you're able to benefit from this program that credit cards make available to people. So why not take advantage of it? Hey, if you guys enjoyed this content, like I said, just go ahead and subscribe. I can help you out if you're looking for a house. It's a really tough time in the market right now. And there are a couple of things that you can do to secure a lower interest rate. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me. And if you haven't already, check out this video I made regarding new home construction. It'll tell you everything that you need to know before buying a brand new home that is being built from the ground up. So with that, have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next one.